On the morning of October the 4th, 1913, HMAS Australia, flagship of the Royal Australian Navy, steamed out of the mist through Sydney Heads and into Port Jackson. With her were the cruisers Sydney, Melbourne and Encounter, and the destroyers Parramatta, Yarra and Warrigo. Since dawn, huge crowds had gathered along the foreshore to witness the proudest moment in their nation's short history. Off Fort Denison, the Admiral's flag was struck aboard HMS Cambrian, signalling the end of British command of the Australia station, while aboard the battlecruiser flew the flag of Rear Admiral George Patey, commander of the Australian fleet and the largest, most powerful warship ever to sail in southern waters. The sight of her revealed the nation's dreadnought in all her beauty and majesty. No longer a thing to be looked at on a printed page, but a living, sentient thing whose mission is to guard our shores. The day would end with many impassioned and patriotic speeches, proclaiming responsibilities of nationhood and coming of age. For what the nation had taken possession of was far more than steel, rivets and cannon. It was a tangible, awesome symbol of national sovereignty. A sovereignty soon to be tested, for in little over six months, Australia would be at war.